let me figure this out. Is it this kind of setting? Which setting do we like? Do we like this setting? That's setting A, and this is setting B. Which one do we like? B. B, you like B? This A is like too close up? Yeah, it's okay, actually. Yeah, okay, so let's go with this one here. So welcome, Sarita, with her violet lipstick on. I should have been matchy-matchy with you. It is so great to make time for us, even though you're on holiday, sort of, vacationing in Jamaica. And I wanna welcome you to this call to say thank you so much for making the time and being with us here. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. I it's it's very warm. It's really a lovely day in Jamaica today. I was actually out and I just had to run and to catch this. You know, I'm really, really happy to be here. So I'm probably so sweating much. a little bit, I think. I can see it looks it looks actually quite refreshing, but I like it. So <laughs> rather than me introduce you, I want you to introduce you. Tell us a little bit about you know, where you live, your background, your education. Give us a little snapshot of who you are. Okay. So my name is Sarita Las Rumo. I am originally from Jamaica, but I'm currently living in the Netherlands. And a little bit about my background. I have uh, an MBA from Nine Rode Business University that's in the Netherlands. Um, uni um, bachelor's of Law from the University of London and also a bachelor's of business administration, majoring in fi finance and accounting from Northern Caribbean University. Uh, about five years ago, I decided to relocate. I traveled all the way across the Atlantic to go to the Netherlands to study my MBA and uh, decided to stay back to, just to experience business from a first world perspective. What happened was that I met my husband so the love of my life and decided to get married and settled in the Netherlands. About a year ago, no, not exactly a year ago, a couple of months ago, I met you. And coaching is something that I've always wanted to do. I have been looking, I've tried to do it on my own, but without any process or system, I just didn't know how to do it. It was something that I had done before. And so, when I met you via Janine and um, you introduced this new world, this new Facebook, how to get clients from Facebook, I joined the Million Stars Academy. And uh, two months ago, I got my first one year client. So I've recouped all my investment in the Million Stars. So yeah, <laughs> that was pretty exciting. I mean, as a business person, I'm always thinking, okay, I don't mind investing but I always look at what, how can I get my money back as well as how can I make money? But the first thing is to obviously to recruit, although you're always investing in your business, you always reinvest and reinvest. But I think for me, one of the goals that I set when I came to Million Stars was, okay, I want to also get that initial investment. And that brings a lot of um, space for me to do business in, in a better sense and also to test it out. I mean, is this thing for real? Can I really do it and to, you know, and to make, actually make money because I didn't know about Facebook groups until you introduced them to me. Like, this is how you can actually make money via Facebook group. So I've been in Million Stars uh five almost six almost fully six months so the end of june will be six months six months and i have six months to go and i'm really really enjoying it the queens in the academy they are fantastic they're very caring they're very loving they're very very supportive i mean if you even shed one tear they're like all over you <laughs> they're all over you i got to experience this firsthand um Last year, I, my dad went home to be with the Lord and I shared this on one of our meetings and like everyone was just so supportive. They were just so loving. I, I couldn't stop crying. I mean, even my husband was in the background and had to come and console me because like all these emotions are flooding back because of all the love and support. Yeah, and you know, a lot of times we don't realize what's missing in our life because 
in in our world and i know you and i have something in common and a lot of the queens in the academy we grow up believing we're supposed to be strong strong for everyone and so when you get that love and you think wow i forgot i didn't know i was worthy of this <laughs> and sometimes there's a release just over there now i know while you were traveling to jamaica and on your flight you were inside of our magical portal <laughs> now i want you to give us that experience of what that portal is like talk about the content talk about the relevance talk about you know what you get out of the content inside of million stars academy membership portal okay so inside of the portal has everything for you to really set your business and to to grow your business as a coach uh when i decided to to travel to jamaica i have a nine hour flight and i was thinking i looked um at the content inside the portal initially when i started a million stars i was consuming the content but you know you get a little bogged down with everyday life and then you're growing your own business as well so a little bit distracted and then i thought oh let me check the portal to see what i haven't covered <laughs> and when i went on i had a hundred and um i think 34 videos to go so i had already done around um 60 something i think at the time and still there was 130 something to go so that's just in terms of the amount of content that's in there but to get specific it covers everything from scripts it covers things from you know what is a need like um your mindset like you do videos as well and you're constantly adding even new videos new content to the material that's in there a few weeks ago you also announced to us that you wanted to include something additional which i didn't think it was needed and uh, but it's i mean everyone was so excited because this is something this was something to do with sales and of course sales is everything i mean i know i mean i for the last four years i've been involved only in sales so if you are not able to sell then you're not able to make money and every business needs money every business needs profit and revenue to come in so then you included this additional content inside and uh, i mean everybody loves it everybody's consuming it uh, the material inside the, the portal is very specific. It's very, very relevant, very, very relevant and very, very needed. I, one thing I realize is that something that you always, you always say, and this is also what triggered me to go back to the portal is don't invent, don't reinvent the wheel. I have done it. So, and as we all know, success leaves clues. So just look what I've done and then just follow what I've done. And I think for me, I know how important that is. I know how important it is just to step back and not just do everything. Cause there's so much information out there. There are so many other coaches out there that you can follow, but then you just get inundated with all of this information. And you that, get confused. You get confused. You get lost. You actually don't move. You it actually slows you down. It's like um, like a a, ta a a car that has like bad oil in there. Like you keep pouring, and then the old one, and then it just gets stagnated. So then you don't move, and everything slows down. So I realized that if I wanted to be strategic and be more focused, I had to just consume what was in front of me. Just test. Does this work? um take coaching take the suggestions put them into practice and i've seen that as well because one of the first things that you one of the things that you taught me that got me my first client you made a suggestion and you always give like really really amazing coaching but to be honest we don't always follow through follow through <laughs> we'll always follow through and I tried to follow through exactly as you say, but I don't always. And I remember once you gave this idea and I did that. And that's how I got my first yearly client. Just, I just did it. I said, oh, interesting. And I just did it right away. And 
magic happened. God, that just fills my heart so, so much, I tell you. Because that's what it is. I always say, do the program as designed. You know, you're here for a year, just do it as designed and see if it works, test it out. So, so true, so true. Now, tell me about access, right? We've joined programs where people, I put money down, the coach is like not seen. I don't get, I can't email her, I can't find her, no access. So talk to me about access and talk to me about our live calls. Okay, so everybody knows that. I've bought a lot of courses in my life because I am someone who believes strongly in self-development. So I'm always buying courses. I'm always trying to improve myself. I've done coaching before. You don't get access to the trainer. Never, never. I've never, the last, the last program I bought, um, we did have, we had a monthly, we had each month, each Monday rather, we had a call and uh, my coach, she was online, but you didn't really have access to her like that. She was always traveling. She was always busy. Okay. She was at Davos. She was here. She was there. And with Million Stars, we have a call basically every day. Well, there are seven calls with the community managers with you together as a group. We can also DM you. Recently, we also had one-on-one -on -one coaching with you as well. So access, not a question. I mean, you're there. You're very accessible. Um, Janine is my co my um, community manager because so she's like the one that I'm more, I'm connected to more than the other community managers because I met her first and I don't know how she does it. I mean, so busy. She's a mom, you know, of triplets, and if I DM her, she answers like right away. So there are the community managers who always answer. Shyam is the same for Ria and you as well. So we have all these calls. So access. That's not a problem. That's, I mean, maybe too much access. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we noticed there was a gap, Sarita, even with me, the amount of money I've spent, you know, and looking for the coach, they definitely found me when my credit card bounced. But when I needed help, you know, they were not, or they would say, here's a coupon and you can access the coach. And if the coupon expires, too bad, so sad. And yeah. we found that was, you know, a missing in the coaching world. And now let's talk a little bit about accountability. Mm -hmm. How do we hold you accountable? Talk about your accountability partner inside. <laughs> My accountability partner is Faiza. She's, she's also a trained lawyer as myself. Well, she's practicing actually. And um, we have a lot in common. So we meet once per week and she's on my WhatsApp. So I'm constantly talking, even spoke to her just a few minutes ago. So here's someone that is similar. We have similar personalities. We have similar goals and we connect really well. So we have these calls and she gives like really, really great advice. So she's like my first contact in terms of accountability. And then we also have a post every Friday that you post and then you ask these thought provoking questions. So it's not just what have you done? And it's like that. And then the Queens also get time to react and to see, you know, what you've done. And you also have to make a commitment to what you're going to be doing the following week. Yeah. So, yeah. And so normally what I do, I go back to what I did the previous week to say, oh, what did I commit to? Or if I know Friday's coming up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Like on Wednesday, I would go check. Okay, what did I promise to do? I hope I'm not missing anything. Let's do it quickly because the, I have to answer, right? Because it's like, what did you what did you say you were going to do and you did? Why didn't you do it? What's a promise for next week? And then I'll always ask a different kind of question. But yeah, trust me, I have my accountability on Sunday and I'm the same on like Friday. Oh my God, I need to answer for my own coaching programs, right? And, and it's really important. It's really important because we wanted to create something where you, there was no way you were going to fall through the cracks, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You got your live calls, you got your portal, you've got your access, you've got your accountability partner, you got your accountability calls. Now, Sarita, you know, you're a woman who is very, very educated. You've got three degrees. 
you've traveled the world. You also come from a family where in Jamaica, like in South Africa, we were colonized by the British. Mm -hmm. but one good thing they gave us was that education was critical, right? And so tell me, how do you compare million stars like a university program? <laughs> that's, a, that's a very, very interesting question. So it actually compares very well. It does. It compares very, very well uh, in terms of also being very practical, like an MBA program. It comes right up there. You know, a lot of persons do an MBA and they come out and they don't even make back the money. Yeah, that they spend. don't know how. It's not even close. My MBA costs 40,000 euros. Yeah. Yeah. And Million Stars is nowhere close to that. Yeah. And, and from yeah. the day you join, you are a Million Stars coach. Yeah. Yeah. You really, really get to, to practice coaching. I did coaching for my university. So I started there um, being like a professional coach, but I really got deeper insights when I started Million Stars Academy. So it really, it, it really, really compares. It's like, it's like you're, you're in the real world. Uh, my MBA was, was pretty good because I got to meet top CEOs um, in the Netherlands as well. So did a lot of projects with them. So yeah, it, it does compare really, really well. Yeah. And so for the ladies that are watching, you have to look at it like the portal is your curriculum, your textbook that's all online. And every day in the live calls and the access is your lectures where mm -hmm. you come and you ask questions and then you do your homework and you implement every single week and you get to make money. Use Absolutely. the scripts, scripts to connect with human beings and help them and help them. So let me ask you a final question. There are women that are watching this right now and they're wondering, is it worth it? Is it a scam? Is this something I'm going to like lose my money, right? What advice would you give them? You will only lose your money if you don't put in the work. Like nothing is given to you. This is definitely not a scam. You, you're free to even check me out on LinkedIn, on Facebook, any of the other queens. It's not a scam. Like everything is there. Um, will you lose your money? It's totally up to you. You won't lose it in terms of you don't get anything. You do get it. But at the end of the day, it really, really boils down to you. And I think that's one of the things that I saw for myself as well. Like, here's all this. You, you know, you always say it's a million dollar program. Mm -hmm. And I started seeing it more and more to myself. And I'm like, if this is a million dollar program, then I can get a million dollars out of it or more. So I really need to set my mindset in, in, in that regard. You know, and I think any of the queens that are watching and if you're thinking of this program, like, if you have the drive, if you think there is something special about you, we believe there's something special about you. But if you really, really think there's something special about you, and if you're called to do more in this world, if you want to do more and you don't want to die, you know, with your dreams inside, if there's something that you need to give, then you just need to take that leap of faith. I also had concerns about money. And when I went to my husband, he said, like, you know what to do. Like, the only, I mean, the worst that could happen is that you would learn. And we know that. I mean, there are only two choices. It's either you, it's either you, if you lose, you learn. So if you come in for the year, and you don't do anything, you still learn that this is an experience that I could have done better because I could have done this. I could have done that. But I would say just, if you join, I'm going to challenge you. And I would love, love, love to welcome you to the Academy just to make it work because it does work. It definitely works. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. So ladies, you got it from Sarita Laws Fromo. Sarita, thank you so much for your time all the way from Jamaica. I know you were running and you were driving over here. And I am so, I love you so much. And I'm just so proud of who you are. I consider you to be a sister queen and a friend. And thank you again. You're most welcome. Wow, wow. Was that extraordinary? I mean, you heard it from Sarita Laws Promo. This is a woman with three degrees, right? All you got to do is go and make the choice, 
go to million stars sign up register talk to the queens talk to the community manager you can click on any of them they will be happy to ask to answer any of your questions okay they're here for you they do not mind if you ask them questions because why don't you ask them and during this weekend today tomorrow sunday monday you're going to hear from all the different coaches in the academy you're going to learn about the different niches that they're doing the different work that they're doing and you know i can go i can talk until the cows come home about how amazing this program is okay but when you hear it from the the coaches inside of the academy you'll get a real life uh, scenario you'll find out what is it, you know happening in the world of coaching and why the world needs coaches right now. And so let's talk about the material world versus the spiritual world, right? Earlier in the week, we talked about the princess. We talked about how the princess was running the show and the princess is guarded. We woke up the queen. Now, what's the difference between how we make decisions? And I'm gonna tell you what's the difference between how we make decisions, okay? The princess always makes decisions from where? From the past, from the past. Now we're inside of our workbook right now. It's on page 18, right? The princess will make decisions based on fear, based on doubt, based on regret, based on things that have happened in the past. The queen makes decisions from the spiritual world of the future. The queen understands where you're going. The queen understands the purpose and the mission that you are on. So when fear shows up, you are making a decision based on your history. And guess what? You will keep getting what you had in your history. So let's put out our handy dandy board here. Let's move this paper out of the way, right? So here you go. When you notice that you're afraid of making a decision, you have to ask yourself, well, I'm over here and this amazing opportunity has come my way, right? Here is the future. This is the future. This is the goals, right? This is you being rich and abundant. This is you saying, I'm going to give more money in charity last uh, next year than I made last year. But the princess is saying, I'm afraid, okay? The princess is using her history to make a decision. Now, when you make decisions based on fear, guess what? Your future dies because you only create what you already had. That's all. So every time the perfect princess makes a decision coming from fear, she gets the same same and same and here's the thing right every single time you make a decision coming from doubt you're running away and so in order to get a new result in order to say i want something different i want to be able to to feed hungry children i want to be able to put shoes on children who don't have shoes i want to help help build a, a shelter for women who have experienced violence. I want to go and go to war zone area. I want to donate. You've got to make a new decision, a new decision. Okay. Because where you are right now is here, right? This is the material world. The material is what you can touch right now, what you can touch right now. And you want to go right here. So when you make a new decision, this is the spiritual world. This is where faith comes in. Okay? This is where you say, I am making a decision based on my future. I'm making a decision based on faith. I am making my decision based on who I'm going to help the charity that i'm going to be giving okay the people that i'm going to be helping there are needy people in this world 
I'll tell you, if you look at my Facebook page or you look at the people that I'm helping, I'm okay if you want to buy a Lamborghini, but you won't see me in it because my money is for people. My, I use myself as, a, as God's accountant. I want to give. I want to share. I want to invest. Share with my family. Share with my community. Share with people who need it. You see, I am a woman who experienced violence. I am a woman who was a homeless single mom on welfare. I know. I know what it's like to be on the other side with my hand out saying, can someone help me? And so I believe that the work I do today is for that. So I can help you with my knowledge. I can help you with everything I've gone through and I can serve God's people, God's creation. Everyone is equal and different, right? And so when fear comes up, when fear comes up, fear is saying, stay stuck. Fear is saying, go back, go back, go run away, go to the dark. This is not real. You see, ego lives here. Spirit lives here. Okay, fear lives here. Faith lives here. And so as you stand right now in this place, you will make a decision based on your history, based on the past, based on who did what to me. And in order for you to get something new, in order for you to get the money, the abundance, the prosperity, the joy, you've got to do something based on faith. And faith requires trust. Faith requires you to do something completely different. Faith requires you to trust that God didn't send this woman here, Fatima, with all her different outfits every single day for nothing. Okay, you're not in this command your business like a queen for nothing. The plane has arrived. It is right here at your door. It is saying, you want to come? Here you go. Here's a boarding pass. We, we have your seat for you in first class, sweetie. Yes, first class all the way. Give us permission to love you and give us permission to teach you. Give us permission to help you all the way to get what you want. Give us permission to be with you. Give us permission to blanket you in our compassion and love and the community of Queens. If you will have us, if you will have us, right? And so truly successful people believe in what? They believe in their goals and their dreams right here. That's what successful people do. Successful people say, okay, Okay, I know what I got, but I know what I want. You remember me sitting there? I'm going to tell you my story. Okay, I was sitting there with my kids, right? No money, no family, no house. I had adrenal burnout. I lost all my hair. I gained 40 kilos, 40 kilos, which is like 70 pounds. My nails were brittle. I was crying all the time. And I was going, is this part of the plan? And I went into other people's trash and other people's recycle. And I was making a vision board. And my children definitely said, oh, now she has lost it forever. But here's what I said. And I know you remember my words. I am not my circumstances. I am my potential. And I'll tell you, it's like, sorry, it is so emotional for me when I remember those days because it wasn't that long ago and I tried so many different ways to make it work you know I couldn't get a job because I would go and go and apply for a job and they were going to give me $15 an hour but I needed $25 an hour for someone to look after my son Tarek he's got cerebral palsy spastic quadriplegic and scoliosis and I had my back against the wall and I had no choice but to make it work. And I wanna give all of that to you. You are so deserving of that. 
You are so deserving of wealth and prosperity. You are so deserving of the joy. I want to give you all of that. You are not your circumstances. You are your potential. You are everything that God has made for you. Okay? Because I look at that as everything on this side. Okay? Everything on this side. Can I tell you something? Everything on this side has been written for you. It has been written. It's a done deal. But you, my love, you have to go get it. You have to say, I'm ready. You have to go and run. You have to unturn every rock and every stone, and you got to go and get it. Just because it's written, it's not going to be handed to you. You can pray all you want for God to come and wash your chicken, and he's not coming to wash your chicken. Okay? You can pray all you want for God to shower and shave you. He's not coming to do that either. But he has written the abundance for you. But you got to go wash the chicken, make the rice, shower and shave, write the resume, sign up for the course, leave that weirdo abusive husband. Okay? You got to do it. I did that. I put five kids in the car and I ran. And I said, I am done modeling this example for my children. I am done. Only faith. I was scared out of my mind, but I had that faith. Now, your success and your prosperity is already written. It is here. But you got to make a powerful decision for you. A powerful decision for you that is saying, I will not be denied. I will not be denied because successful people, we face our fear and we're like, okay, okay, faith, okay, fear. You know what? I know you're here, but do you know how big God is? That's how you look at fear. You look at fear and you say, do you know how big God is? Just like the little brother will tell the bully, do you know how big my brother is? You got to be going around and telling every problem that you have, do you know how big God is? And I got God on my side because the queen has risen. The queen has woken up. Okay, so now you got to say, okay, is this making sense to you? Is this making sense? Are you feeling this? Are you feeling this? Okay, like Wasim is like, wow, that's right. That's right. You conquered fear. And so did you, Razia. I know. I know you, girl. So let's go ahead and create our year. I'm going to show you my magical formula for creating the year. Okay? We're still in our book right now. And so here we go. We've got the, the next 12 months. Okay? And so what does your 12 months look like? What does that look like? When you look at your 12 months and you say, okay, I am here in one year. What, what do I want in one year? What do you want? Okay, do you want to make 100K? Let's just go with 100K, okay? That's $100,000, okay? And I'm using a small example because it's just easier for me to do the math. Okay, so that's how you want to work it. And then we always go from the future. And so that's what I teach you. That's what I'm going to hold your hand and say, this is where you are. So you have to imagine in one year's time, put today's date down and write down that date and go, in one year, I will have that. So now the queen has to jump into the future and now stand from here, from the top of the mountain, because that's where we are. This is the top of the mountain. Okay, at the top of the mountain, as you stand right here, it's your beautiful hair, and you are looking down, you say, okay, I already got the 100K. Now, if I already got 100K, where should I have been at the nine month mark? Okay, where should I have been at the nine month mark? So here we go, nine months. Nine months, maybe you should have been at 80K. It doesn't always have to be even. 
That's right, we reverse engineering. Thank you. Okay, then you go to the six months. Now, if you want exact numbers and you're like, you know what, that's too messy for me, I want exact numbers. Okay, then we go 50 and then we go three months. Now, your numbers could be very different and that's okay. At the three month mark, you want to be at the 25. Okay, now you could be saying, I'm going to change my numbers up. That's okay. And so as you build your year, you can decide when I, when I am at the top of the mountain and I look down, what kind of tool do I need? What kind of strategy do I need? What kind of mindset do I need? What kind of community do I need? So you got to write that down. You got to figure out how do you get there? Because let me tell you, you cannot do it alone. I've tried it. Sarita's tried it. Lots of other coaches in the, in the academy have tried it. You cannot do it alone. You know why? Let me tell you why. Because your perfect princess and the ego will keep pulling you back to your past. You need strategy, you need a tool, you need a system. You need the mindset and you need the reminder over and over again to help you get there. Because what you did in the past can no longer work to create a brand new future. You need a very, very different kind of future. You need to say, you know what? I tried that, I did this, I did that. What can I do differently? And when your excuses show up, it's who talking? Who talks when the, per when, when the excuses show up and the fear shows up? You got to listen to your dialogue in here. And I'm going to tell you, you might think the outside world and the outside circumstances are pulling you down. It is your internal dialogue because other people's language becomes yours. Right, Because the queen just woke up this week and the queen needs reassurances that she's allowed to make decisions because the princess has been making decisions this whole time. You are not conscious of it. So she is the default. Anytime you're making a decision quickly, it's the princess that's making a decision. So when you need a new decision, you got to make it from a new place. Okay, so now as the, the queen is here, so if you're not creating a new life, that means you've gone back to perfect princess and ego. Every time you think bigger, you think new, you're like, I want something greater. I want to make a difference in the world. I want to give more charity. I want to help people. I want a new niche market. Do you know the online space has added a billion dollars since the pandemic? Since the pandemic, that is why people need coaches. People are struggling. People need you to help them. People have anxiety issues. People are struggling with stress. People are struggling with their children. People don't know how to handle their mental health. People need to learn how to make money online. People need to know how to get loans. This is a new world we are navigating. And people need you to help them navigate. And guess what? You know how you make money? God is not going to send down golden caterpillars from the heavens. You make money through other people. People open their wallets, they take their credit card, they go to a bank, they get a loan, and they send you money. So, how does that work? I'm going to tell you right now. Okay? This is the person. And when you add value, guess what they do? They give you money. And so the, the equation is like this, okay? The more 
difference you make for human beings, the more money you have in your bank account. If you are not making a difference, you're not making money. That's, I'm going to tell you that right now. Now, now you might be saying, well, Mother Teresa didn't make money. Well, if you want to go to my, and be with Mother Teresa and do her work, you're on the wrong command your business like a queen. I'm going to tell you that right now. And God bless Mother Teresa. Okay? But I'm going to tell you, if you want to make a difference with money, and there's people that are using GoFundMe, or people need money in different parts of the world, and you don't have the ability to travel to different parts of the world right now, your money talks. Your money matters. Maybe there's someone who needs a surgery. You can pay for them for that. Maybe there's someone who needs cancer treatment. You can pay for that. Maybe there's a, there are people, hungry children in a different part of the world that need food or shelter. Your money makes a difference. Okay? So the more the difference you make in people's lives, where you can coach them and consult the more money you will make. That's the formula. If you're not making money, there is a problem with your strategy right here. There is a problem with your strategy or there's a problem with your mindset or there's a problem with your community. That's the problem. And that's the missing piece in coaching that we have seen. Strategy is missing, mindset is missing, and community is missing, okay? So when you are able to create that and put that in, you will make a difference. And you will make a difference on a global level and you will make money at a global level, okay? Shion Connolly is saying, I am a million stars coach. Yes, ma'am. Welcome. Welcome, 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 welcome. We welcome you with open arms. Talk to your community manager. Go to the link. Go sign up, register, and become a million stars coach because I'll tell you, this is the answer you have been looking for. This is the place you want to be. This is the place, I'll tell you, because we've, we've, got, we've got the next best step for you. We've got the place where you can grow in faith, you can grow in your money, you can you access your perseverance, you can say, okay, the fear is coming up, and I'm feeling it, and I'm, I'm doing it anyway, okay? This is the place where you're going to get accountability, and we're going to hold you powerful.